Welcome to another video of the Brain Directories developer course. On this video, we're going to start using the Brain Directories variables. There is one main place where you can use the variables, which is the widgets inside the actual widgets. If you try to edit any of the widgets, you're going to start seeing the variables here. There are PHP variables most of the time. When editing widgets, you're going to see that it has three sections, the HTML, which also includes uh, PHP code, the CSS, and the JavaScript one. In order to actually use um, PHP variables, we're going to need to work on an actual widget. There's another place where you can start uh, adding code here in the, in the content pages, but they don't support PHP. So if you try to put PHP code here, it will actually print out like so. So it won't be pre-processed. It will show the code. With that in mind, let's go to the toolbar and let's start working on a specific uh, widget. We're going to start working on this widget, the widget that controls that part, which is uh, the home page one. Let's work on that one. Let's click edit here. As you can see, it's fairly easy. Just click on there, edit the, the widget, and start working on it. We're going to customize a little bit here. So, what variables are we going to use today? Here in the Developers uh, Solution Center, in the Developers Corner section inside General, we have an article called Common Variable List. You can actually search for it, Common variable list and you'll see that it appears as first there and it tells us all the variables used on different pages um, as you can see the variable dollar w is used basically in all pages okay uh, for profile pages and account pages uh, the user variable is also used oh and the data posts this is a generic list to give you an idea of on what pages a variable is actually used and on this part it tells you more or less what that variable or, or in this case array includes inside of it. So for example the W1 includes everything related to pages, what the viewer is using, what the viewer is seeing and more. If you use, for example, the S, that's a specific array variable used for membership features specialty. If you use the R, it's for reviews, the P for photo albums and classifieds, and more. If you try to work on membership features, you're going to see a lot of the uh, dollar post variable. If you try to work on member pages you're going to see the user and users data and you can see here a full list including the variables from uh, the PHP language these are all custom for the brain directories platform and these are all just for PHP in general we recommend you using this for the most of the time and when customizing you'll end up using basically one or more of these options. So let's start working for example with the user one. Let's try to print that variable. Let's see what happens. Totally empty. Why did that happen? Because we're on a page that does not, if you can see, the user variable is used where single user data appears, like the member profile page. That's why I did that on purpose. So if we grab this code, I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to copy it and we're going to go to the actual profile page of that member. So let's log in. Here we see the profile page. Let's click on, for example, 
mm, this widget. Okay. Now let's add that code there. And let's see what happens now. Now we should see information about that. We're seeing, for example, that the user array includes information like the listing right array inside of it and all these options here. If we were to print the user's data, let's corroborate the, the name, user data, perfect. And we run it, then we see a whole bunch of more information related to it. We can see uh, the name of the user, sample listing, we can see their email, and more information related to them. Included in this information is a subscription ID, as you can see, I'm a free member. Um, the file name where the or the actual URL if I click on view profile you're gonna see it sends me there and more information rela related to the uh, array we wanted to use why is this information relevant because in the case you want to start customizing information on this particular page then you know which variables to use that actually appear on that page so you can see user and user data are used on that page but if I try to for example I try to use the same variables on the home page they're basically empty so there's no use in using those specific uh, variables on different pages that they were not assigned to very important for this part so try to read some of the articles on the developers solution center so you get a little bit of a head start while doing the videos.